Wedding season is upon us, and we know many of you brides-to-be are kicking your fitness routine into high gear. So we've asked celebrity trainer Andrea Orbeck to lead us through a 10-minute workout to get you ready to walk down the aisle. Hi everyone, with me today on this bridal workout is Susie and Gigi. We're going to take you through all the necessary moves to get you ready to walk down that aisle to your honeymoon and beyond. Let's get started. The setup is to go ahead and pull your elbows into your ribs and from here stand in a nice strong first position ballet posture. You're going to lower down and as you start to come up you're going to push overhead. We want to use the lower body muscles as well as upper. We're going to do 20 in total, slow controlled form, exhaling as you push up. Inhale down, exhale, good. Keep this in mind. Go ahead. This is great killing two birds with one stone, the lower body, the upper body. It's awesome. Yeah, I love it. You're going to be able to get your quads, your inner thighs, and your delts. Good. Long neck. Try not to look up. Keep your eyes up, but your chin down. Push through five more. Four. Last two. And last one. Nicely done. Good. So keep your elbows at your sides. Roll to a 90 degree angle. Widen your base of support. We're going to keep with the upper and lower combination. You're going to lower into a squat and widen out rotator. Come on up again. 20 on your reps. Here we go. So we want to continue with that inner outer thigh and all the muscles that make you tall, strong, and confident. This is great for training your posture to stand upright and open. For sure. It's important for those pictures too. On of the course. Day. Yeah, you might. It's a time where you're just nervous. Good. Five more. Last three. We're gonna keep the legs burning. Two and one. Pull your body nice and close together. Narrow your squat. Lift your elbows. Pull your shoulders down and back. And again, coordinating upper body posture with lower elbows to knees as you squat down. Good, and then stand up and strong squeeze of the bum. Lower down, 10 reps as we finish out the legs. Drop down. Very good. Let's go five more. Change is coming. We're gonna add a little bit to the hips in three and two. Good, and one from here. Weights down at your sides. I'm gonna have you continue on with a little bit of squats, but we're gonna add twist and abduct the hips. Looks like this. Drop down, raise up a leg, drop down. 20 is your rep count. Keep in mind, you don't wanna slouch, you wanna squat that weight of your upper body and your dumbbells into your tush. Lift up strong, breathe and lift. Good. Makes you wanna get married. <laughs> It's good to work the outer thigh and the outer glutes and the hips. This is great. I agree. Great on a honeymoon. Let's push four, three, two, and last lift. Nice work. So we're gonna go ahead and take this booty work and pop onto the floor. So now that we're on the floor, go ahead and pop onto your hands and your knees. The stance is shoulder width apart. Nice open fingers. Find your posture in the movement by pulling your shoulders down and then transfer your weight onto your elbow. With one leg and a straight back, go ahead and press it out with a flex toe. Find your bum in the movement, keep your back straight, and now slowly for 20, push your knee up, and then pull it underneath your ribs. Here we go. So you wanna make sure that your form is always strong in the shoulder blades, abs are super tight, and you're using your bum to lift the weight of your leg. Good. I can feel it working. <laughs> Me too. Up tall. Remember to keep a nice flex toe and squeeze through your bum. Good. Four more. Last three till we hold. On this last one, stay up. Find your bum in the movement. Point your toe. Make sure your shoulders and back are flat. Toe to the ground. Tush lifts the heel. Make sure that glute is doing the work and not your lower back. You'll feel it if your posture isn't perfect. Yeah, it's really good to use the abs here to keep the back straight so the glute is focused doing the work. Agreed, that's a good point. Good, squeeze up, find your bum in the movement. Nice, relaxed posture. Hold through, push up. Four, and three, two. Hold the glute, hold, hold, hold. And 
pull the knee in. Go ahead and switch legs. Make sure your posture's on, your abs are holding this plank. Knee underneath, and then go ahead and stretch out and squeeze the tush at the top. Toes are pulled in. 20 reps. Watch your posture. Now you're gonna feel a little bit of the tush. You're gonna feel some of that weight bearing on the opposite side. That's normal, it's holding the posture. Up you go. Feel the burn in that little tush. Here it goes. Good. Here's five. Last three. Last two. Here's that famous hold. Point your toes, straighten your back, add your shoulders up and down low, and lift. Again, make sure it's your glute that's lifting the weight of the leg. Now if your shoulders get tired, make sure you know where your elbows are and you're not wearing your shoulders as earrings. You already have enough jewelry. Up and down. Working that glute. Five more and four. Here's three, here's two, and here's one. Pull that knee in and go into child's pose. Just open up. Now we're gonna continue with some postural work. You're gonna lay completely flat on the ground and we're gonna do some hyper extensions or supermans. Here's the setup. You're gonna go ahead and lay flat. Chin tucked in like you're holding an apple underneath your chin. Hands behind the head. Squeeze your bum cheeks and slowly lift your chest off the ground and then slowly roll. Now if you feel you can, go ahead and add straight legs and you can lift them off the ground as well. If that's a little too much for your lumbar spine, go ahead and just lift your upper body. We've got eight more from here. Slowly lower and lift. You should be able to feel your shoulder blades, your lower back, and your glutes. Here's four, last three, two more reps, last one, and slowly roll down. Hands are down, back into child's pose. Open up your back, give yourself a nice breath, and then go ahead and transition right onto your tailbone, and we'll do our abs. While you're in this nice upright position, curl your chin in again, nice capital C of the spine, hands are down. Use your abs to slowly and eccentrically lower your body to the ground. Once you feel your tailbone is there, up you go. 10 reps. Slow, slow, slow. Up. And lift. Exhale as you descend. Good work. Now if you want to make it more challenging, put your hands behind your head. Slowly lower. Up and lift. Good. Let's try five more. Slow. I like that we're focusing the work on the going down as the abs are also lengthening. That's it's true. kind of an extra challenge. I love it too. And there's a lot of eccentric movements. You get a lot of strength gains while you're doing eccentric, the lowering phase of a rep. Good. One more time. And slowly lower as slow as you can to the hardest part. Hold. Once you get there, go ahead and do regular crunches. Slide the ribs up for 20 repetitions. Lose your breath as you slide your ribs towards your hips. Slow and controlled. It's not always about the height, it's about the degree of contraction that's most important. And where should we be looking? Like at our knees or at the ceiling? You want to keep a neutral neck? That's such a good question. Try and feel like you have like an apple underneath your chin. And you're not pulling on your neck, but you're allowing your upper body to be lifted through your hips. Go five more. Four. Last three. Now hold on one, hold on one. Pull the knees in as well. Curl into a ball and then open up that ball. 20 times, pull in and open. Now if you have experience with Pilates and your back agrees, you can try and make it a little more challenging by extending your legs, pulling into a ball. Extend, pull in. And again, if your back disagrees, just open and close with your knees at a 90 degree angle. In and out. Really focus on keeping that low back connected to the floor as the legs straighten out. Here we go. Here's five and four, three more, two more, and one. Stay in a ball, hug your knees in, rest your head, give it a nice big roll to a seated position. Good job. So good job with all of that quad work we did. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a quad stretch. 
Laying on your side, stacking your hips and your shoulders. Go ahead and take the top leg, grab the front of the ankle, and push backwards. Roll your shoulders down so that you're not shrugging. You can take the bottom leg and push that heel up against the toe to give you a hand to really push into the quad. That's a great modification. I've never seen that before. I like it. Yeah, you're it. kind of able to really get into the depth of yeah. the quad. So hold for another one, two, and three. Release the legs, spin to the other side. It's kind of like an assisted stretch. Yeah. Here we go. We're going to hold for 10 more seconds, up and through. Push for four, three, two, and one. Good job, Bryce, to be. These moves will have you ready to walk down the aisle in no time. Thanks so much, Andrea. You're welcome. See you next time on Fit Sugar TV.